Now I would request the Honorable Minister of State, Shrimati Kriparani Kelly, to deliver her speech to the uh, occasion. Honorable President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, Mr. Srivazi and Adhal Rao Patil Ji, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is great privilege for me to be here today for the release of commemorative poster stamp on one of the greatest matters of Indian freedom struggle, late Sri Shivram Hari Rajguru. Sri Rajguru was born on 24th August 1908 in Kedi, a small village near Pune that is in Maharashtra. The atrocities of the British rulers impacted the mind of young Rajguru, who decided to devote his life to the freedom struggle. He came in touch with the great revolutionary Chandrasekhar Azad, who inducted him into the national movement. He was arrested for his revolutionary activities and taken to Lahore, where the British government had set up a tribunal to try the accused in Lahore conspiracy case. Rajguru, along with Sukhadev and Bhagat Singh, were sentenced to death and achieved martyrdom on 23rd March 1931. It has always been our endeavor in the Department of Post to honor such iconic personalities who have inspired generations of youth to dedicate their lives to their motherland. Commemorative postage stamps are the best way to carry forward the values and vision of all those who helped liberate and build our nation. The postage stamp being released today is to honor Sri Shivram Haras Guru, who laid down his life in pursuit of his dream of a free India. It is a tribute to his sacrifice, devotion, and unwavering commitment to his ideals. I would like to place on record the deep appreciation for my colleague, Mr. Shivazi Adhal Ravji Patel, who not only took initiative of proposing the name, but also kept the guiding us for beginning till today regarding this stamp release. I would also like to mention the hard work done by department officials, particularly Mrs. Meera Handa and Mrs. Rashi Sharma for making this stamp a reality today. May I now request Honorable President of India to kindly release the commemorative postage stamp on great revolutionary late Sri Shivram Hari Rajguru. Now I would request the Honorable President of India to kindly deliver his address on this occasion. Dr. Kaparani Kili, Minister of State, Communication, Posts, Sri Shivraj, Shivaji Raj, Adilra Patil, Member of Parliament, Distinguished Members of Parliament, Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Family Members, of Sri Rajguru. It's indeed a privilege for me to associate myself with this function of paying our tribute to a great patriot and martyr, Sri Hariram Rajguru, who was born on August 24, 1908. There are large numbers of revolutionaries who have sacrificed their lives for the freedom of our country. Since the first armed revolution against the British imperial power in 1857, in different parts of the country, various organizations were established consisting of delegated young men and women who were totally committed to the cause of the nation. They ardently believed that without sacrificing their lives and without striking a hard blow to the imperial power, it would not be possible for Indian to get freedom from the imperial force. Once Mahatma Gandhi observed 
when the freedom struggle was being carried on, that it is wrong to believe British Parliament would pass India's independence, freedom is to be snatched from the unwitting hands of the imperial power. These totally committed, fearless young men and women believed that freedom is their, Swaraj is their birthright and it cannot be expropriated by the foreign powers. Therefore, they took arm against these mighty forces. They knew that they will have to pay the very heavy price, but they did not hesitate. There is a large legacy for which we can legitimately feel proud of. The saga of sacrifices laid by this band of great revolutionaries. Trial, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Shukdev, whose names are mentioned in one breath. They formed a core of the revolutionary movement and struck blow after blow against the imperial forces. And when they attacked the imperial forces, they knew the British power was at its zenith. But it did not deter them from pursuing the path which they chose voluntarily to free their own dear motherland. I am deeply appreciative of the initiative taken by Member of Parliament, Shivaji Ravadi Patil. It was not only his commitment to his electorate in his constituency, but it was the commitment of the nation to pay its debt to this great son of Mother India. All three were hanged. But those who are accustomed and have the knowledge, their spirit was never subdued. They had indomitable spirit and courage. He was hanged on this day in 1931. I appreciate the contribution of the Department of Posts, Minister of Communication, and bringing out this commemorative stamp. Let us pay our respectful homage to these great sons of Mother India and take a vow that let a small particle of their ideology, patriotism, commitment to nationalism inspire us. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.